A beautiful earth and the lovely wonders it has. It's a real life right here. Nothing that man can make, but just this ultimate energy, this ultimate being to create all this loveliness. Good morning, guys. Another beautiful day. It's another amazing day. Good morning of Henny's World in Costa Rica, La Fortuna. As today is going to be a very fun day because we're going to be climbing the Adana volcano, which is pretty epic. It's the biggest volcano in Costa Rica. Make sure when you guys come to La Fortuna, you definitely see this place. Just get ready for an epic day where I'm going to be climbing the volcano, showing you guys Adana, and be showing you a little bit of the history of the Adana volcano. In La Fortuna, I don't know. Pura vida Costa Rica. Costa Rica pura vida On a journey. Pura vida, right? Costa Rica and Costa, Costa Rica, Rica to the world. Pura vida. So hey guys, so before I go to see the volcano, I gotta eat, I gotta be energized, I gotta be ready. So I just stopped by this one of these places. Um, it's like a local spot. And I got Got some nice food, the local way, rice and beans, eggs, plantain, some good flavor, some seasoning. So we're about to get energized and then we're off to the volcano. Let's make it happen. Super excited for today to go on this amazing trip to be climbing the volcano. You guys, I've never climbed a volcano before. I've never even seen a volcano in person before. So I'm doing two things that I, first time seeing it, first time climbing one. Really excited to be showing this, you guys. So this is the Adana volcano. So I'm about to go get ready, get ready to meet my our tour guide for today to go on this trip. Stay tuned. All right, and we're off. Hello there, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, my friend. That's your name. Harvin, that's my name, so we're starting here, and then here. All right, let's go. On our way to the volcano. Oh, I don't know if you're gonna see it today, but. Oh man, we got to. It was clear this morning though, when I seen it. It just got cloudy. All right, it sounds good. It could be cloudy, it could be rainy, it could be sunny. Yeah? guys so we just did a little pit stop um so we got people going to use the washroom buying water before we get that we go on the hike to the Ar Arnold volcano so pretty excited just check it out 
Look at that. First time ever seeing a volcano. First time getting super close to it. It's gonna be really great today, you guys. We're on a, a great adventure. You know, stay, stay tuned for this journey. For the walk in La Fortuna. Mwah. Bueno, vira, vira. Costa Rica. Jeez. Arriba. <laughs> Yeah. It was totally, totally cloudy. You just got one of these perfect days. There's no such and thing I'm as not luck, man. This is perfect because later also it could be cloudy. We don't know, so we're not, we're trying to to take an advantage on that. For for example, on the afternoon it could be cloudy later. Even raining here in Fortuna is totally unpredictable yeah. weather. It's we gonna be. Know it. You know what's gonna happen? It's gonna be very clear today. It's gonna be even more clear. And yeah. the sun's gonna be more brighter today, man. That's what's I gonna like, happen. As I say, as I say for everybody, you just keep a PMA today, all day long. You know what that means? No. Positive mental attitude. I That's say. the way. So you everybody. Guys got to hike my friend we're going to the half of the volcano that's the place we are going if you're ready you just follow me ready chicas chicos let's go Perfect. give me a second right, so we're about to climb we're about to go on this hike we're gonna walk through the rainforest which is gonna be pretty sick as i told you before you keep all day long in dna the positive <laughs> and from the place we're gonna be today, we're gonna see only the crater sea, which is the highest of both. Later, you will know why the volcano has two peaks of it at the top, as you can see. Also, you see like steam coming out in the peak. That one is only water vapor. The volcano is not active right now. All the rain that drains and later evaporates through the heat. Here we go. Coming Hola, Hola, baby. Wow. <laughs> tadpoles. Tadpoles, eh? Tadpoles, tadpoles, tadpoles. Look at that. Beautiful. See the beautiful nature. This earth is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Beautiful wonders. It is a perfection. Pura vida Costa Rica when I see this. I know. Hermano, man. This is your home. This is my office. Your blood. So that's why you don't be scared of the spider. Everything has its purpose. Everything has its purpose. It's the circle of life. Okay. So this is mushrooms, like magic mushrooms, you guys. It's just grown in the forest of Costa Rica. I just found one right here. So this is shrooms before it's dried out. Isn't that interesting, you guys? Holy shit. I'm going to take a bite. <laughs> you guys want some? Huh? We made it? Yes, sir. We did? We're not allowed to go to the top because you could die. Volcano doesn't like people. In Spanish, faldas. Faldas. Faldas is like skirt. Amazing. We made it to the top, but as high as we can get in our I don't know volcano. Just check it out. All this way around, we will find lava flow from 1968, also 1973. We have lava flow of the volcano from 2010. But but this area we are right now is from 1968. Pueblo Nuevo, it was a town that was destroyed by the volcano on 1968. It existed, Pueblo Nuevo, Tabacón area, that it was in a town. It was a big area of Tabacón bushes, which is a small tree, right? Well, these people, they didn't know anything about volcanoes. They thought it was a hill, a mountain. They used to call the place a sugar bread peak. <laughs> 
or sandy hill or something like it going to the top they found only rocks all the rocks that got cold and blocked the main exit so that's why people here not knowing about volcanoes going to the top they saw only more and only rocks and vegetation so they continued believing it was a mountain by 1966 two years before the eruption the, the volcano showed them the first signal that it was the increasing of the temperature in the Tabacon River. It reached 94 Celsius, almost on boiling point. Almost boiling, right? And um, all these people to explain this phenomena, they started to make up stories about witches, about magical creatures up in the mountain. In a, in a well, 12, 12 hours before the eruption, it just showed the second signal. This second signal, people got scared. They thought the mountain was gonna break. The earthquakes were increasing the magnitude, but they didn't think that the weekend was gonna erupt. Right. July 29th, at seven and a half in the morning, the volcano was just in the morning. Like, quiet. And suddenly all the magmatic chamber couldn't stand all the pressure and it broke three new craters on the west side of it. The crater A was on 1060 meters above sea level, really close to Tabacón area, Pueblo Nuevo town and Arenal town. That it came 200 kilometers per hour gases, <laughs> really fast gases, 500 Celsius gases, really hot, combined with toxic gases and ash. That is the one we call pyroclastic flow, all of it combined. Going with this wow. speed, 200 kilometers per hour, it reached the town in less than a minute. That's crazy. That it was really close. And it burned 15 kilometers squared around, killing this town I told you before. Well, there is a dump. They started to pile up all the rocks to, to, to block the flow of it. And on that way, they built a dump that nowadays in Costa Rica is the most important hydroelectrical project we have of the country. It is said that on dry season gives less and on rainy season gives more, even ranging from 23 to 27% of the energy of the country. Remember, 68% of the energy in Costa Rica comes only from water. That's amazing. 98% of the energy in the country is renewable. But here we go. That's why you guys have to get out and travel, you know? Like just travel, man. Just get out. Get out of the element. Get out of your comfort zone. Go experience different life. Go see something new. Go experience it. It is once in a lifetime. Like, it's, you have to. It's a necessity for you, you know? Don't be stuck in that cycle of life where we're back in that city. It's constantly in the rat race, you know? Get out there and experience it. I don't life. see it. This cloud is going to move. This, always. It's my, one of my meanings of why I do this, you guys, to show you this type of stuff. Beautiful real life, you know, real different things. Let's go. Don't think about it, just go. Got some great food. <laughs> this is including the.